How did Excalibur do in making their crossbows smaller, lighter, faster, and cheaper in 2023? We're gonna look at them and we're gonna find out. How cool is this? I am recording on my phone, not a camera, on my phone. I'm recording the screen on my laptop, which you can probably tell right behind me, and I'm able to project it onto my TV. So you can look at the screen that I'm looking at even when you're just looking at me. That's pretty cool. It's also an example from a book I've been reading recently called Smaller, Faster, Lighter, denser, cheaper. Forgive me if I got those out of order. And when I say reading this book, I've been listening to it on my phone. Smaller, faster, lighter, denser, cheaper. How innovation keeps proving the catastrophists wrong. History shows us one thing and one thing only, and that is that technology continues to evolve, continues to get better. When I was a little kid, people still had party lines. Remember those? Probably a lot of people watching this video don't remember party lines. But today, everybody has a cell phone. The phone goes with you wherever you go, but it's your camera. It's replaced my camera. And I'm a camera guy, right? I love cameras. It's largely replaced my laptop. I only break this out so that I can share the results with you. What's this got to do with crossbows? Easy. How are these various companies making their products smaller, faster, lighter, denser, cheaper? Now, denser means more features packed into a smaller package, more energy in most cases, packed into a smaller package. When we're talking about crossbows, I kind of replaced some of that with smaller, faster, lighter, quieter and cheaper. Maybe quieter is something we're looking for in crossbows. But really this kind of applies to crossbows. We're gonna take a look at Excalibur and see how they made out, huh? How did Excalibur do? I have perused these already. I sign up for all the free email newsletters and stuff, I love that stuff. Look at that, look at that, it's in both places. We are looking at something right off the bat that I like, 40 years in the crossbow business. Hats off to Excalibur. We have the 40th anniversary established in 1983 for Excalibur, 40 years in the crossbow business. That's quite a bit. I got 13 years in the crossbow business and I'm quite proud of that, right? I'm not in the crossbow business, but in the crossbow video business maybe. 40 years in that business is quite a milestone. So hats off to Excalibur. In honor of that, they have come out with three new models, I am told. We're gonna look at each of them in this video. That Twin Strike Tac 2 is not a new model, but we do have a really nice logo in the Wolverine crossbow. We are gonna take a look at that first. That is their 40th anniversary commemorative model. My knee-jerk reaction to this crossbow is that it really is just a recycled 360. We're in Bungie Jr. t-shirt, right? There's my daughter Genevieve and her crossbow, Bungie Jr. Bungie Jr. is a micro suppressor 355, which is really a 360. I mean, when you take the rubber off of it, it shoots like 360. It shoots like 361 feet per second. So this is in that same genre, let's say. They do show it with the rubber on here. And when I'm, I talk about that rubber, I'm talking about stuff that's either on the limbs or on the strings. The other stuff doesn't slow you down. That stuff slows you down a little bit. They're claiming a 360 feet per second crossbow here. Ultra compact and lightweight maneuverability. It is small by Excalibur standards. It is the micro platform. So it's going to be 25 inches wide uncocked. It's a pretty wide crossbow. It does have the ceasefire ensures your crossbow will not fire unless an arrow is loaded, safety is off, and the trigger is pulled. Excalibur has jumped to this ceasefire thing that requires the special Rhino knocks in order for it to fully operate. It still shoots the, the regular knocks, the ones that we've been using, you know, for 40 years, but this new design of knock is something that they recommend for to get the full use of that ceasefire technology. Not sure I'm a fan of that. It's hard to improve on a flat Burt Coyote Luminock. I love those knocks, used them for years and years and years. They have to go to a special design that has a little lip in it, a little curve in it to, in order to do that. Not a big fan of that, not a big fan of that. New trigger systems, they've been talking about that for a while and they do claim that they match today's best match grade rifle triggers and a lifetime limited warranty. By all accounts, Excalibur warranty, awesome. Great stuff. Everybody loves their warranties. And I will say that like any warranty, it has its limitations. It is a limited lifetime warranty, but nonetheless, they do have a very good reputation in that respect. Features micro high output express limbs for increased durability and performance. I think that high output has more to do with their durability than their performance. Really the high output part is down here from what I saw when I looked at these in shops. I don't own one of these, but I can tell you these high output limbs seems to be the limb tips. They have more mass at the end of the limbs. It does not make their crossbows faster because this is a 360. It does not change the draw weight because the draw weights are still pretty high on these crossbows. And one thing Excalibur will not share with us probably in the specs is the draw weights. They have gotten away from that and they don't talk about draw weights anymore. It's none of your business 
what the draw weight is of your Excalibur crossbow. They're not the only ones, in all fairness, that do this. These companies are casually leaving that out and making you dig further if you want to find out what that is. 360 feet per second. Today's crossbows are faster than ever before. Faster crossbows can deliver more downrange energy. Um, 360 feet per second is not really a fast crossbow in 2023. It's not. It is very much on the bottom end of crossbow speeds for today. Take that for what you will. Weight, 6.4 pounds, eight with a scope, I'm thinking, or eight when it's all decked out. So 6.4 without your scope and all that good stuff. That is a very good weight. One thing Excalibur has done well is keep the weight down pretty good. The rope cocking aid it comes with. Modern crossbows are drawn back with a cocking aid. Excalibur crossbows use attachable cranks, integrated cranks, and rope cockers to achieve as little as 12 pounds of draw effort. I can tell you right now, we're gonna get rid of Norton here, that crossbow does not rope cock easily. I did some looking, doing a little project here that's going to be part of a future video, and I went through and accumulated a bunch of different specs. And I can tell you that in looking at the Wolverine, I found the draw weight was 285 pounds. So really, this is akin to Genevieve's crossbow. This crossbow has a draw weight of 285 pounds, right in the mix with Bungie Jr. It's pretty much the Micro Suppressor 355. When they talk about the draw effort, 15 pounds, that's the crank, right? That's with the new cranks installed. Overall length, 30 31 and a half inches. What I will say that I like about this crossbow, hats off to Excalibur once again for 40 years. That's fantastic. And I do like the adornments on this. I like this camo package. This is the Upland camo, I am told, from Mossy Oak. I think I got that right. And it's a throwback camo for a throwback crossbow, reminiscent of one of Excalibur's early models, the Wolverine, like their first dual double limb model with a split limb where it has one limb on one side, one limb on the other. I think the early Excalibur, the first model they made, had one limb all the way across the front. And it was also that Wolverine back when they first sold it was made out of wood. So these grips are a really nice throwback to the wood stock of that original crossbow design. So hats off to them for keeping it real, going back to their roots. I love wood grips and all that good stuff. You can see here that also the foregrip is wood, has a wood adornment on it. I don't know if this is real wood or not, but it's pretty nice. It looks pretty sharp on there. These are going to shoot your 16 and a half inch quill arrows or pro flights or whatever it is you choose to shoot. You're going to have a few light knock options if you want that groove. That's the problem with all of the Excaliburs we will look at today. Also new for 2023 is the Assassin Extreme. Now, not to be confused with the Assassin 400 or the Assassin 420. The 420 is the Matrix limb. It's, I think, the last of the Matrix limb-sized crossbows that they're making, the 30-inch wide crossbows. They're phasing out of that. But that Assassin at 420, this is the, the Assassin Extreme, and we're gonna find out just how extreme it is. Right off the bat, I see some things I like and some things I don't like. What I don't like particularly is this color, and this is something that we're seeing in pickup trucks these days. This color is getting kind of, you know, you see a bunch of these. Toyota even sells them like this. I don't know why they do that. It looks like primer to me. It looks like it's just waiting for a paint job, right? Ready to put the paint on. Now you can put the paint on. I do like this cheek rest though. That looks pretty cool. Now this is an assassin, so it has a built-in crank. You can see it there. This one has the built-in whisper quiet charger crank system. World's first dead silent integrated crank aid. It does have the micro high output express limbs. Very, very good. We have that. It has the match grade trigger also. The reds suppressors are on here, which substantially reduce shock vibration and noise. It comes in flat, dark earth, or you can get the real tree escape. If you want that, you got to buy it through a dealer. I looked that up. Or you can buy it through Wyvern Creations. There's a place where you can get that, but you can't buy that directly online. And you won't get that in the big box stores. That's what I have found out about that. So if you want a camo, you got to go buy it separately. And that dealer model comes with an upgraded scope as well from what I'm able to see here. This is the TACT 100 scope. We're going to hop right on here real quick like to Wyvern Creations. Boom. Excalibur crossbows. Scroll down here a little bit. Made in the USA and Canada. Okay. We're going to scroll down here a little bit. Where's the extreme Come on, Extreme. See, the dealer is 100 bucks more, but you get the options of it coming with camo. Here with the regular Extreme, the regular Extreme, you only get it coming with the brown thing, the primer colored one. 
At least here you can get the Overwatch scope, which would be, in my view, an upgrade from the TACT-100. Now, we're going to scroll down a little bit here and look at it, but it's 400 feet per second. It is a micro-sized Excalibur. It's 7.4 pounds. It's essentially the same crossbow as the regular non-extreme Assassin 400. The difference is it doesn't have a takedown. If we go look at the other crossbow that they sell, we can do that right on Wyvern without losing our spot on their webpage. If we go back on here and we look at the Excalibur Micro Assassin 400 takedown, last year's Assassin or the Assassin from the year before that or the year before that or what have you, we will look at that and that one's 400 and it's a little bit heavier. Okay, so this one's a little bit lighter. It's a 400 feet per second one. 325 pound draw weight, wow. That comes with the TACT-100 or the Hawk XB-30. Again, that's a, that's a higher end scope, I guess. I would take the Hawk over the TACT-100. But either way, you're looking at price-wise, you're looking at a substantial increase in price to get the takedown model. So essentially, this is just the Assassin that isn't a takedown and looks a little different. I don't like the fact that the trigger assembly, the box will roll down the rail here and collect your string and go back to cock it. Not a big fan of that. I'm really not. I haven't actually heard people complain about it, so maybe I'm off base, but I can tell you it seems like that's unnecessary movement from a company that talks about how simple they are. They're building something that's complex, and I don't know why they would do that because it gets away from the simple part, and it can be done other ways. To me, that's just you're asking for trouble with more moving parts like that, and especially with the trigger assembly. Like, that's the biggest thing on the crossbow. It's very important, especially on a crossbow with a 325-pound draw weight. That trigger box has to hold 325 pounds back, and if something breaks in there because you're moving it all the time, that's a lot to let go of all at once. Right? And if you think that that's not something that happens with crossbows, I can tell you I'm aware of at least one Excalibur that was recalled for specifically that problem. The Mega Matrix 405 back in the day was recalled because it fired unintentionally. It fired when people didn't pull the trigger. But that brings up another good point. The Mega Matrix, 405 feet per second, this shoots 400 feet per second. Now it has gotten smaller, Excalibur over time, has managed to get smaller. That was a Matrix, so that would have been 30 inches wide. So this is 25 inches wide, that's smaller, but it's not faster. Is it cheaper? It's $1,399, it's cheaper than last year's Assassin 400, but it doesn't have the takedown feature. So it's not denser, it doesn't have as many features, right? We're taking features out of it. It's up to you to decide if that's enough. Is this really a new crossbow? Is this really an improvement for Excalibur? Caliber's catalog of crossbows, or is it a repackaged different color of what they already sold us last year? But we do have another one to look at, the Micro Extreme. Now, when we look at that, I'm going to jump right down here and tell you much of this is the same thing. It's the same limbs, high output, looks like the high output ones. We'll look over here. Yes, it does have the Micro High Output Express limbs for increased durability and performance. It doesn't really improve the performance because if we look, this crossbow shoots 360 feet per second. This is the same crossbow. This is the same as Genevieve's crossbow from years ago, her micro suppressor, 355. It's the same crossbow. It's just uglier. <laughs> that is my own personal opinion. I really just don't like this color. It just looks unfinished to me. I'm not trying to be a jerk. I really am not. I love the Excalibur, right? I love the OB. I love my old Excalibur crossbow. I am proud to have used an Excalibur crossbow. I killed four deer this year with an Excalibur crossbow. Remember how excited I was when I did that? the greatest crossbow of all time. <laughs> this crossbow does not make me excited like that at all. That's where I'm going with this. Right? I hate to be the skeptic, but it looks like they got to the $949 by not paying Mossy Oak or Realtree a licensing fee for their camo. That's what that looks like. It looks like they're saving money by just selling you an unfinished crossbow. That's what it looks like. This isn't a new crossbow. This is the a Micro 360. What the extreme thing about it is, what? What am I missing? Tell me what I'm missing. I don't see anything new from Excalibur this year, unfortunately. This is a great crossbow for 2012, is what this is. These are perfectly good crossbows. They're nice crossbows, they're just not new.
So these really don't count as new crossbows to me in my book. I was a little critical of Scorpid last time, just to be fair, because really what they did, they didn't sell us a new crossbow. They sold us a combination of two platforms. They updated one of their existing platforms with parts from another platform. But I got to say that one shoots 100 feet per second faster than this one. This shoots 360. That shoots 460. That's worth something. <coughs> I want to apologize. I'm not up to my game here. I don't feel 100%, but I don't see anything new here from Excalibur, unfortunately. I see more repackaged older stuff. That's just my thoughts. That's my two cents. That's all I can give you. I am in the process of doing some research to look at all the, the new crossbows for every manufacturer, the main manufacturers, and looking at those to see what they offer. Where are we at with crossbows? What is the average speed of crossbows from each manufacturer, the average price, that sort of thing? And I'll have more information on that in future videos. In the spectrum of smaller, faster, lighter, denser, cheaper, where are these crossbows? Where is Excalibur as a manufacturer on that spectrum? And are they moving things to become smaller, lighter, faster, denser, cheaper, or quieter? Until next time, all hail Bungie. Bungie.